I traveled here to the UK to testify as a witness to assist the court. After obtaining a restraining order in 2016 and finalizing my divorce, Johnny Depp may believe he has handed Amber Heard all the documentation he is required to in the former couple's multi-million dollar defamation battles, but the Aquaman star is now going fishing in some very deep seas. In Subhuenas submitted today, Heard wants to know what the Los Angeles Police Department and Walt Disney Motion Picture Group have on the ex-Pirates of the Caribbean actor. It is information that she and her Virginia attorney want produced in the coming weeks. Amber Heard apologizes to Johnny Depp after losing all her movie roles. Whether that has any effect on either the US or the UK, today's sub certainly will cause ripples at the very least at LAPD HQ and at Disney's Burbank corporate hub. On another level, Team Depp made sure to give themselves a side door in the demands. Of course, no litigant can ever completely rule out the possibility that additional responsive documents might be discovered at a later date, and Mr. Depp appropriately reserves his right to produce after-discovered documents, says the opposition to Heard's motion in the footnotes. The legal maneuvering Amber Heard and her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, continues as the Aquaman star pushes to get discovery from both the Los Angeles Police Department and the Walt Disney Corporation ahead of the $50 million defamation lawsuit filed by the Pirates of the Caribbean star after Heard wrote an opinion piece in the Washington Post in December 2018, alleging that Depp had physically abused her. After several unsuccessful attempts to get the matter tossed out, Heard countersued for $100 million last summer. Recently, Depp has come up short himself in trying to get the countersuit dismissed. In November last year, he also lost his high-profile libel case in Britain against Rupert Murdoch's The Sun for calling him a wife-beater. Additionally, in a sub of its own filed Tuesday, the LAPD has been asked to deliver body cam footage from two officers and all documents and communications of any nature generated, sent, or received relating to the 911 calls relating to the Eastern Columbia building on May 21st, 2016, relating to Ms. Heard. Referring to the pivotal and contested incident that led to calls for a restraining order and Depp and Heard's divorce soon afterwards. The wide-ranging sub goes on to say that this includes all internal and external reports, communications, and other documents. In the case of Disney, Heard and her Charleston Bredehoft Cohen and Brown PC lawyers want not just paperwork on what really was going on with Depp during the filming, including shooting and reshooting on Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales, they are also pressing for a February 18th virtual deposition from Disney on the matter. The documentation that Team Heard desires from Disney in the $50 million defamation suit and the actress's $100 million counterclaims casts its net pretty wide. Already in another discovery squirmish in the long war between the Rum Diary co-stars, Heard wants all information relating to documents and communications of any nature. Depp's biggest box office success as an actor has come in the Disney Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and it was actually learning that he was not being considered for a role in the upcoming reboot of the franchise that led the actor to sue his ex-wife for defamation, as he believed that her article damaged his reputation badly enough for him to lose out on a chance to continue to play Captain Jack Sparrow. On Depp and incidents of drug or alcohol use, including suspected drug or alcohol use, as well, they are seeking details about any delays or tardiness caused by Mr. Depp, any incidents of violence or abuse by Mr. Depp, any info on impute the actor had or hiring, casting, and disagreements with the writers, directors, or producers with the filming, editing, and or release of Pirates 5. Amber Heard To twist the knife a little more and deepen the possible public spectacle, Heard's lawyers also want all information relating to all documents and communications of any nature between Disney and Mr. Depp from January 1st, 2018 through the present. 
A Disney spokesperson told Deadline today that the company has not seen the subpoena. The lowest grossing of any of the Captain Jack Sparrow franchise films in the US, Dead Men Tell No Tales, came out in May of 2017, after what was seemingly a series of disruptive production issues. At one point, the entire Australia shoot came to a grinding halt and cost Disney millions as Depp had to be flown stateside for surgery. The actor had sliced off the tip of one of his fingers in what was reportedly an intoxicating substance-fueled altercation with Heard. In maybe the most telling of both Subpoena's aims, the request of the LAPD also wants all documents and communications of any nature with Mr. Depp and or any of Mr. Depp's agents, attorneys, or other acting on his behalf from May 21st, 2016 through the present. Heard's lawyers have set a February 8th deadline for the City of Angels cops to produce the material. Following the ping-pong tactics both sides have deployed repeatedly in the Virginia case, today's subpoenas fly out of another motion on documents from Depp to Heard, which is set for a January 15th hearing. Seeking a new libel trial on the other side of the Atlantic and having failed to get the Old Dominion's anti-slap utilized in his favor, Depp wants to roadblock Heard from digging for demands for more details as the matter heads towards a trial start later this year. Defendant's motion is an inexcusable abuse of the discovery process and is littered with false representations to the court. Depp's January 8 filed opposition reads, Miss Heard certified that she had met and conferred in good faith. That is false. In fact, the Pirates franchise played a big role in this legal mayhem from the beginning. Depp sued Heard in Virginia State Court for $50 million in March of 2019 after she wrote a Washington Post op-ed about being a victim of domestic abuse. The December 2018 piece never actually named Depp, but the already fairly litigious actor alleged it damaged his rep and cost him a gig in Disney's planned Pirates of the Caribbean reboot. The filed paperwork went on to say that in fact it was Depp who was the real victim in the couple's short-lived marriage that ended in full public view in 2016. Miss Heard is not a victim of domestic abuse. She is a perpetrator, it read in part. Miss Heard claims that Mr. Depp refused to provide full production or supplemental responses is also false. The paperwork from Brown Rusnick LLP's Ben Chu and Camille Vasquez continues. Miss Heard asserts that Mr. Depp has refused to comply with this court's orders and failed to produce documents. False as well. In short, Miss Heard continues to burden this court with frivolous, unnecessary motions that violate the rules of the Virginia Supreme Court. Mr. Depp respectfully requests that the court deny Ms. Heard's latest motion and sanction her. Enough is enough. Otherwise, shining a new harsh spotlight on Heard's long-held insistence in and out of court that she donated the $7 million settlement she received in 2017 in their divorce to the ACLU and LA's Children's Hospital. Depp scored a PR win at the very least recently. Heard's Virginia lawyer, Elaine Bredehoft, admitted on January 7th that her client has already been responsible for seven figures in donations to charitable causes and intends to continue to contribute and eventually fulfill her pledge.